Hi there, my name is Javi Molino, and uh, if you've just joined us, then you've missed some rather impressive discussions on uh, what to expect sh when you attend a John M. Campbell G4 gas conditioning and processing uh, course. Today we are going to talk about gas dehydration using triethylene glycol, TEG. In this, uh, in this section, sh when you attend a G4 class, you will be able to summarize the basic TEG process uh, uh, flow diagram that we often see in the industry. Uh, you'll be able to evaluate a TEG unit uh, to get a good understanding of how the unit in your facility is operating, as well as being able to evaluate and check a vendor quote that uh, you may be responsible for uh, uh, investigating. You'll list some regenerating, regeneration alternatives available to obtain lean TEG. You'll be able to discuss the trade-off between circulation rate and the number of theoretical trays in a TEG contactor. You'll describe the likely places where glycol loss occurs. It's one of the troubling issues that we have in our facility. And you'll be able to state the key operating issues in a TEG facility. The way we discuss TEG dehydration in the uh, John M. Campbell course is to make use of charts and figures and diagrams. There have been literally thousands of TEG units uh, that have been designed. And again, this is not a design course. This is a course that is meant for facility engineers to be able to evaluate the equipment in their facility. It's also a course that's meant for people that uh, may not be directly involved with facilities but want to get a better understanding of how equipment works. So it's, we offer uh, practical hands-on approaches to being able to evaluate equipment and processes in a facility. With TEG dehydration, we take a look at four key parameters. The water removal efficiency, which is simply how much water you're removing uh, in the TEG contactor compared to what's coming in. The lean glycol concentration, uh, the leaner you make it, the more operating expense it's going to cost you. Uh, your circulation ratio, how much of the lean, cons lean TEG do you have to circulate in the system in order to remove the water from the feed gas. And finally, the number of theoretical stages in your contactor. The more stages you add, the higher the capex. One of the things that we investigate is the trade-off between circulation ratio and number of stages. I don't intend to go through the entire uh, evaluation procedure, but instead I'd like to focus strictly on the determination of the lean uh, glycol concentration required to meet a water dew point specification. Uh, if you have a system uh, that you're trying to meet a water dew point spec, what we do is we use this chart that's shown on the diagram. This chart plots your equilibrium uh, dew point versus your contactor temperature. Uh, it's because TEG loves water so much, it's fairly independent of pressure, so we can use this diagram uh, to give us an idea of what to expect in a TEG system.
In order to determine the lean concentration of TEG that you will require to meet a water dew point spec, we look at uh, this equilibrium water dew point versus temperature curve. What we plot on the curve is the equilibrium water dew point versus the contactor temperature. There's only one curve that we use because the TEG loves water so much that it's fairly independent of pressure. So you'll only see one curve in our textbooks. To show how to use this, let's use an illustration where my contactor temperature is 38 degrees C and I'm looking to meet a water dew point of minus 10 degrees. Well, with that in mind, what you do is you simply go into the curve. And we'll go in at 38 degrees, and then we will look at minus 10 degree uh, water dew point, which is on the y-axis. We see where they meet, and we end up requiring at equilibrium a 99.0 weight percent uh, lean TEG concentration. The key word is at equilibrium. This is in a perfect world where everything works perfectly and you have enough time at the top of your contactor for your lean TEG to come in perfect equilibrium with your natural gas leaving the TEG. We need to account for the fact that this does not happen in the facility. When you attend a G4 session, we talk about how to make corrections for the fact that we are in a non-ideal world and why you will need to regenerate, in this case, your TEG to a lean concentration higher than 99.0%. The next time we meet, we will talk about dehydration with uh, molecular sieves and other adsorbents. I'll see you at that time. Thank you.